This is Mark. This is my journey through tarot. So the question is, when Prince William becomes king, will he fix the firm? And I believe the answer is yes. When Prince William becomes king, I believe there will be a big change in the structure of the firm for the palace. Let's see what the cards say. And you know, I do believe that um, that once Prince William is king, if it makes it that far, I mean, if the if the monarchy survives, I believe that he will in fact change uh, the 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 way all of that's run. I've just got to have faith in that. I'm going to use the touchstone touchstone. I have such a hard time with that word. The touchstone tarot touchstone what is a touchstone i'll show you i've got some touchstones here you can use rune stones for touchstones uh, they can be they can be anything that that gives you a little uh, intuition so um this is a cool little uh, uh gadget to uh you know use to distract you we used to call them worry stones too sometimes men would keep their keys in their pockets and jingle them around or a coin in their pockets well you know anything that that gives you um a little piece in some regard that's a touchstone so i just keep my rune stones in this cool jar which is actually from reminds me of my ancestry a little bit it comes from the island of corsica and uh so kind of cool so the uh, touchstone tarot and that's what we're going to use for this uh, uh little talk today about prince william I believe that he's going to be the one that does save the monarchy. You know, I'm going to use this opportunity with these cards out here like this just to jumble them up a little bit. And like I say, if you're uh, using your cards with some friends or or someone's come over to, to get an idea of what's happening in their life and, and they're not comfortable shuffling, just a mix-up like that is, is a good way to get the cards uh, ready for reading. But then we'll finish this one by some actual shuffling and you'll have the wonderful experience of my expert shuffling skills to uh, feast on uh, again prince william i think there's a lot there that we don't know and he was a little bit older than harry not much but enough to make a little bit of difference in how he perceived things when diana died and i wonder if that hasn't made him feel a little bit like a big brother a little protective at that time and maybe since then maybe he feels a little removed i mean because they did spend that period of time as sort of equals you know the unspoken that no not really but yes we'll be equals in this in this journey that we're on together until the time comes when william takes the big <laughs> the big road and harry has to stay on the small road and that's where we're at as a matter of fact harry has just taken the opportunity to define uh, the road that he's going to take instead of live in a in a in a state of stasis where he doesn't know what his future future will be so we're going to go ahead and get uh, six cards out of this as typical for the first part of the celtic cross four five and the question is about william is william going to make the change to the firm is that what's going to happen and i think those people as far as the 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 ones who run the firm they have to i think just live in the moment signify a card for whether prince william when he becomes king will he fix the firm and the first card we get is the nine of swords and the nine of swords just speak to you speaks to us of uh, worry and frustration and sleepless nights and danger and uh, and all of those issues that are hanging over uh, uh, Prince uh, William uh, when he when he finally does become king signifier the uh, challenge to that then is the hanged man and uh, you know it's a matter of being in a in a moment of flux in a, a he's that's kind of where he is now the challenge to him making any changes is that right now he's stuck He's stuck in a place where he can't uh, make a difference at this moment. He just has to bide his time. The basis of this reading, then, is going to be death. And sadly, <laughs> that's very true. I mean, nothing moves forward until somebody goes. I mean, 
the queen has to move over, then Charles will have to move over, and then it will be William, and he will be in place for a long time if the monarchy survives. So what colors all of this very appropriately is death. Nothing can happen until the monarchs are out of the way. One cycle ends and another cycle begins. And so Prince William has got quite a few years until that moves around to him, but really not that many in the overall uh, scheme of things. The past for this are secrets revealed. Man, how appropriate is that? And the whole problem with what's been going on, this is the moon card, is that secrets have been revealed. And this this woman in this uh, card, although she's not pregnant, she looks a little that way. And it's just the manner of the dress of the day, but it does remind you that all of this, uh, these secrets became revealed during the uh, um, gestation period for Archie and now for this new um, uh, girl who's coming along. In the sky of this reading then, the best that we can hope for is a six of coins, remembering the, th the way things were, the, the, way thing, the way things could be, and um, also the distribution of that. You know, how are you going to dole out the value that is within the firm? There's a, there's a lot to take care of there. And someone has to decide, well, we're going to give this much attention to this and this much attention to that. It seems like right now the firm is using all of its value to drum up, um, for the most part, the um, how the public perceives uh, the monarchy. And uh, so I think that William's going to shuffle all that around and dole it out in a different way. The uh, likely outcome for the big part of this is the Six of Cups, and that is, in fact, remembering how things were at a different, in a different time. Or maybe maybe things never really were so, so wonderful and rosy, but we like to believe things were. You know, when someone passes, we remember what a wonderful person they were, even if we had a, a devil of a time with them in life. We always want to remember the best, and I think that that's what this card alludes to here, really, is kind of wishing things were the way they were, but they never were that way. So, good read so far. The self of, of wondering, the the immediate um, uh, spiritual movement uh, in uh, William uh, right now. That's the two of coins. Of course it is. He's having to balance uh, what uh, what's going on in his life. He's got to bide his time. He's got to keep the balls uh, in motion until it's time for him to uh, to make uh, to put his mark on the uh, on the monarchy. Then the um, environment that that is in is the seven of coins, and uh, the seven of coins really just speaks to having done enough. And this reminds me again of Diana, nurturing that that tree of all those coins and wondering, hoping, praying, and now knowing because she is uh, part of the uh, the uh, collective consciousness, knowing whether they've done enough, hoping they certainly have. Okay? Now, the hopes and the fears is the Six of Wands. And I think this is a hope. And the Six of Wands speaks to us of victory. And this is a very defiant victor here. He's carrying that flag forward. He has everyone following. There's a laurel reef of, of victory right there. Beautiful white stallion. I think this is Prince William. And I think we're going to see, of course, this is one of those predictions that will be years uh, before you will know a difference, but I think we'll see victory and the monarchy will survive and change under Prince William, King William, if that's the name he takes at the time. And then the final outcome is the Hermit. What does that mean for this reading, the Hermit? Hermit speaks to us, this card speaks to us of someone who has, and this is a young person here to be a Hermit. Usually this is shown as an old man, but this is a young man who is is having to really study his journey before he makes it. You know, I think this is William, as a matter of fact. It's William right now, because we can't go uh, 20 years or 40 years into the future to see how this is going to work out. We have to know that this is him being thoughtful, looking for the way, taking uh, uh, advice from those around him, all those who give him little pieces of information. I think that, uh, yeah, this reading is telling me that William is going to be the savior of the monarchy. Yeah, it was, it was, it's very appropriate reading. We started out with the Nine of Swords, which is just so much worry and heartache over all the, uh, the dangerous uh, truths and untruths and, uh, uh, and health issues that are going to be in his future. It's going to be a long time, and he's going to have to see a lot of heartache uh, before it comes his time to remember the change that has to be made. But 
he will remember the change that needs to be made. And he comes forward here in the hopes and fears as a six of wands, carrying a banner of victory and into the future. And then the final outcome for that reading is the hermit, where what he has to do right now is bide his time, plan his path, look for what, um, what can happen and what he can do. That's what I have here. My name is Mark. This is my journey through tarot. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you come back again. And I hope you'll subscribe or maybe encourage someone to subscribe. It's going to make a big difference for me and whether I can keep doing this. So thank you so much. I'll be here tomorrow, though. And ciao for now.